What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into live interview with Smiley. Carlos and Bonnie Lachey get shut down. Leave Krishan Jr. alone. Um, let's get into it. Oh, let's skip into it. What's up? What's up, Smiley? What's up? Look who's in the what's house up, today. Up? Hey, Smiley. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? What's popping? Girl, good, we're good, trying good. to get Thank to the so bottom much. of the tea. Mister, I really <laughs> definitely want to get to the bottom of this, too, because, you know, it's just so much going on. There's so much being said, and I feel like a lot of people just don't really understand, you know, but let's help them understand. Period. All right, cool, cool. I, I get it, and that's what we're here for tonight. We want them to understand what's going on, what's popping. So, Hot T, where should we start tonight? So, I think we should get directly straight into it. I mean, Carlissa all of a sudden wants to hear, wants everybody to hear that she wants to get Junior. I just want to know, Smiley, why do you think that all of a sudden she wants to get Junior when she could have got him at court and she didn't? Yeah, that's what I want to know too, Smiley. Why do you think Carlissa suddenly wants to get uh, Baby Junior? I think she's trying to claim on the taxes. I don't know. Man, what? Quick disclaimer. One, one, one in the chat. Smiley is a wild card. I probably won't believe half of this shit on here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But we still going to react to it. That's what we going to do. Okay, I got a family to feed, <laughs> so let's get into this thing. So, it, I probably won't believe none of this, but we still gonna react to it. Putting the baby on the taxes is just absolutely great. Oh. <laughs> <Hey>, adding up, <laughs> not the taxes. She's trying to get that child tax. It credit. just don't add up. It don't. It don't. It don't sit right with me, bro. It's weird as hell. I don't know what it is. You know, I, I understand. At the end of the day, she's still a grandmother. I don't know her personally. Let's just be straight up. I don't know the lady personally. Straight but up. But from, first of all, everything she's said in the past. I'm not going to lie to y'all, too. <clears throat> I'm going to be breaking these, this video down probably in 8 to 15 minute increments and posting it. So, just give me a second. You know what I'm saying? What makes you think things are going to change while Sean's in jail? You know what I'm saying? Right, like get, right. Let's just get straight into it. Talk about the stuff she really said about him. Uh oh. That shit hurts. Well, that's what I mean. And at first, um, you know, if we go back to the courthouse, you know, everybody, when they were questioning why Carlissa didn't do anything, you know, one thing that she made it known is that she was trying to, you know, respect Krishan's wishes, right? So that was one of her defense. So I think a lot of people are wondering now, you know, what's changed? You know, why are we not just. I think she needs some clout. She is on the show, but she's not even doing enough on the show. Uh, she got um, Shawty on there talking the whole time. Tokyo Tony talking the whole time. That, shout out to Tokyo Tony. She went off on Carlissa yesterday. <laughs> now, y'all would know that if y'all was on my Patreon because I reacted to the aunties. I do every Sunday. All right? So with that being said, she not really doing much on the aunties. So she needs some clout you know requesting Krishan's wishes and as to promote her patreon <laughs> i ain't mad at her for it but you ain't got to use junior jet but he should right so i think that's the big shocker too like what is she really up to you know is things dying down right now for miss carlissa that she just needs to kind of you know come up with a new clout move you know was the whole eight years thing that was being spread with Krishan yesterday you know did that make her feel like she needed to take an opportunity to jump on that mm -hmm. clout train Right. So there's a lot of questions people are wondering and asking themselves, but, you know, it's not coming from the sincere grandmother thought. I don't think anybody is really, you know, really putting it together with that when, you know, for months and months and months, we saw the flip flop attitude, you know, of, of her being when it comes to how she speaks about Krishan. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, the children as well. Right. Facts. Right. And let's even talk about it, like how the fact that she had the nerve to say that, um, Mr. Blue, I call him Mr. Blue, you feel me? Pops. Pops wanted Blue Daddy, like, if that's the case, then Junior is not your grandson. You feel me? Like, Smiley, you know that was Cap. 
you know that was kept but you know what everybody gonna troll so hey it's crazy like you know what i'm saying like you said some so many weird shit you said so many weird shit what is going on with everybody's vocabulary what happened to the eds for some reason y'all saying back up instead of he back up instead of he backed up what is going on I'm, I'm just not understanding the vocabulary these days. It's pissing me off. Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't big speaker or nothing. But Lord knows I know how to put a word or two together. I'm sick of it. Yeah, we yes, have that too. That's Sorry. a good reminder, isn't it? Hot to you? Yeah, it's like she don't really stand on nothing. Like She, she just said that Pops wasn't Blue Daddy, bro. That was Yeah, crazy. exactly. They look just alike. That, like... They look like triplets. The daddy, the, the son, and the grandson. And Pop's so cool, bro. Pop's is so cool. And he's all for Junior, bro. I'm going to tell you something. The way I witnessed, bro, while we was just chilling at crib, everything, like, he helps Sean with everything. You feel me? He's always there for her. You know, Sean like to do everything on her own. She like to make sure that, you know, she like to do everything. But he's really always there, bro. He's such a supportive father. That's what's and, and that's to Carlissa's point, she is saying he's a supportive father now, but he didn't used to be smiling. Now that side, I'm on. I'm on Carlissa's side with that one. But what we see in a lot of the posts and everything that he's put out there too, right? I don't think there has been anything negative. You know, I think they tried painting. Today. He'll tell us to ignore it and keep it pushing. Yeah, hundred percent. And you know, and I think when you get online and you start seeing all these things, you would probably you know say yourself too smile that there's a lot of things that you have to try to ignore right? right left right all over the place facts right so smiley and when do you um think krishan's coming home um krishan should be coming home very soon she's not getting eight years i don't even know where that came from yeah that's so inaccurate they're just really looking at her original charges Kong, uh, one of the best attorneys they're slow Okay, he has represented me. He has represented X. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely... Now, I did show something earlier, which I probably just used this video for. Matter of fact, <clears throat> since we got all of y'all over here. Um, let's do this. I'm going to just make this the video. Come on, Instagram. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Black T Queen sent me this. And it's basically of uh, the paperwork. Well, another form of Krishan's paperwork. I guess that's more up to date. Dated the 28th day of February 2024. Um, so I want to clear up two things. Her possession charges, because a lot of people think her possession charges for some reason is like pounds of metadata. Why not? Marijuana. Y'all, <clears throat> her charges is unlawful possession of controlled drug with intent to distribute, which is marijuana. Uh, it's a felony in Oklahoma. Uh, and then a possession of CDS without tax stamp affixed. Um, and that is a felony. All right. Now, did she have a firearm? No. Um, did Was trafficking on there? No. Uh, was it under or more than a pound, more than an ounce? We don't know, but I think that they were worded if it was that much. Okay. Um, it's given she, I'm sure, had some grams, but I mean, clearly we won't know because it doesn't say it on there. But, um, oh, I'm not done with what I was saying. <laughs> so <clears throat> it says four years until the 15th of March 27th, count one, and four years until the 15th day of March 2027. Now, I just want to make this very clear. In the beginning, y'all, that was absolutely for her probation. She, they definitely want her to be on probation until 2027. That I do know. Um, however, her going and actually doing time for eight, eight years. Can somebody close the door? Her actually doing time for eight years. No. Well, he can save you. Cracking, yeah. 
um, him, her getting eight years to actually serve time, I just don't think is happening. I could be absolutely wrong, but I'm just showing y'all the updated paperwork as we seen um, the other pap paperwork yesterday. Now, Hot Tea Hot Chocolate did not say that this was the updated paperwork. What she did put out said original paperwork, y'all. So this is just updated. Um, so I just want to put that out there. All right. A great attorney. Okay. Oh, also, I want to say <clears throat> that I think that the fact that she does have an attorney right now can change whatever's going on because attorneys always help a situation versus hurt a situation. So it's a good thing that she does have an attorney. So her chances of getting eight years, especially for a little bit of marijuana, I don't think it's happening. His name is Robert Trackman. He's one of the best attorneys, bro. I'm telling you, like, Sean's not doing eight years. Sean is okay, you feel me? She's, she's, she got to come home, no cap. I don't want to say nothing. I don't want to say too much. But she's going to come home very soon, sooner than a lot of y'all people think. Period. And people might not, I don't know. Well, everybody gonna know, but. And I think that's why Carlissa took her opportunity yesterday because she saw the false narratives going around and she seen Krishan's name going viral. So she was like, let me just hop on the train and throw my little two cents in there because she know damn well she can't get Junior. Not that quick. I mean, if she really wanted to, she can take a lot of steps she to can. try and attempt, but it's not as easy as she's trying to make it seem. So her being a grandmother, she does have some say-so. However, she does have to be ruled uh, to have that say-so, like in court, um, a ruling or, or whatever y'all want to call it, um, for her to actually get granted. Let's use the word granted. Um you know, that security for Junior. And quite frankly, that's not something she's trying to do, bro. Because if that's the case, she would have took Krishan to court a long time ago. And yes, as a grandparent in uh, L.A., you can take the damn parents to court. You can. So uh, she's absolutely correct on that. So I definitely think that it was clout. Um, probably for her show or probably for something she got going on over there. So... Who knows? Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Um, a lot of viewers right now are saying that it seems like Alyssa has ran out of a lot of trips, right? So, unfortunately, she's going back to talking about Krishan Jr., right? Um, I do want to let you guys one, one, one in the chat. know that, you know, obviously everything is alleged. And um, as well, you know, Smiley does have her cash app down there. So, if you are looking for a shout out. All right, y'all. So we're going to end this portion of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, as always, tap into my Patreon. Link will be in the pinned comment. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.